Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Oh Taste and See, and I know you see some corn here, and yes, it has shucks on it. So today, I think I have a little interesting video for you. I am going to show you how to shuck corn on the cob, and then you probably know how to boil it, but some people, most of the time, when you see corn, you know, it's already in a pack or somewhere, but when I grew up, in rural South Carolina, we had lots of um, crops around our house, and my dad always uh, loved to shuck corn. Now these are the hogs and stuff, so we're gonna go ahead and start pulling them off. But like now, I guess we had like an organic, maybe not so much as a farm, but we had lots of crops. And we raised hog too, so maybe it was like a farm, but they didn't really call it that. And so, now we didn't use, I don't remember my dad using any pesticides or anything like that. So, yeah, sometimes, so we had little critters, you know, you open it up, and so you hit the shucks and stuff. These are the shucks, and now this part is called the silk. Now, I've, you know, done a little research on the best way to get, like, the silk off the corn, guys, you just got to keep working. Some people cook it in the microwave. Some people boil it in water. But the best thing for you to do is just to, like, find out what works for you. And so, now, I don't remember, like, if they had microwaves back in the early 70s. But, now, what we did, you took, you'll take all your little shucks and things off the corn as best you can. Now, these little streams, little, you know, these are actually like the flowering parts of the plant. Of course, I have my gloves on, but we're going to break that little part off, uh, cut that off. We'll go ahead and just break it off. Now, this is like the silk. You see those little fine, like little streams, look like hairs. Those are like the flowering parts of the plant, so we want to um, try to get most of those off as possible. And so I'm just going to just pull them off with my fingers. And then I'm going to rinse my corn under some hot water. So there we go. We got one done. And I just need to finish getting that silk off of it. So this is my other ear of corn right here. And we're going to do the same thing there. And so once I finish that, got my pot over here. I'm going to boil that. Got some butter in that. In my pot about a um, tablespoon of butter and I'm going to add a um, tablespoon of salt so I'm just using the uh, salted butter so um, not using a lot of salt just a tablespoon of salt and about a tablespoon of butter because you know you can add more butter to the corn once it gets done so guys we're gonna finish this up and we're gonna get this in the pot and let the water boil and then add our corn in there. So you want to bring that water to a boil and then add that corn in there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish shucking that and get my water on the oven. Okay guys, see how that's looking? I think we've got all of the silk off of that. And if there's some on there, then I don't see it. So we're going to go ahead and get this in the pot with the rest of the corn, guys. And hopefully everything works right. We'll show you what it's looking like when it's done. Alright guys, that looks so juicy, but it's not quite as tender as I want it to be. It's been cooking about 20 minutes, so I normally cook my corn maybe anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. Maybe that's a little too much, but I like my corn to be a little tender. So I think I'm going to let the corn cook maybe for about 10 more minutes, folks. But that's what it's looking like. And we're going to go ahead and say happy cooking. I'm going to um, enjoy myself some corn on the cob today. Probably with some chicken 
and some either broccoli or some green beans. I always try to have something green. I don't always do that, but I try. So, folks, so I hope that you enjoy cooking along with me, and maybe you'll buy you some corn and shuck it and have yourself some corn on the cob. Thanks, I'll see you in the next video.